my sister. It's called You Don't Know Shit. No, no, no. Not like that. Just let me. Here, listen. You ain't shit if you don't know shit. Reading was never the love interest it was made out to be. The movies will say it differently. When they make films of my life starring Johnny Depp, the writers will lie. Critics will drone a novel performance, a brilliant life captured, reading's name slandered. He I loved reading. He was an avid reader, bookworm, apple seed, poet trees. How clever they will think themselves. Bullshit. You ain't shit if you don't have nothing to show for it. In second grade, I had a brown-haired, brown-eyed, little middle-aged woman of a teacher, Marshall. Mrs. Diane Marshall. I've always had a thing for names. Slender frames, Max Chinese, Hoppa eyes. She loved reading. No, she didn't love reading. She felt for reading the same way any second grade, public school, government-funded, standardized testing, some par, below national average, underfunded, underappreciated, near illiterate, reading comprehension, Average high school teacher felt about reading. In second grade, we got stacks for every book we read. Enough stacks for the weekly reading sheet. Enough weekly reading sheets earned stars. Enough stars for the Kalea Star Student Badge. It was an honor to be made of. All the shiny metallic stickers in nine and six inch diameter construction paper circle of a badge could be. Nothing stimulates learning like the false reward of success. You ain't shit if you don't do it right. Miss Marshall was given a teaching aid. It seemed the 32 to 1 ratio was one too many to be sanctioned legal. Thank you to the taxpayers. Miss Sunshine was nothing like her name claimed it would be. The movies will make her blonde, gorgeous, young, to offset the pale old hag they will find to play the not pale, not hag Marshall. Miss Sunshine was a dark brunette. She was 20 something, but looked 30 something, and her name was Sally or something still. She was pleasant, and after Miss Marshall taught science and before she taught math, I spent recess in the classroom to impress Miss Sunshine. I read Harry Potter, the only Harry Potter ever written that was one, chapter six. By the end of the 15 minute recess, I showed her page 143, three chapters, 60 some pages, lies, 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 but the smile and the, oh, you must be the quickest little reader I ever met. It was worth it. She kissed me a stamp on top of it. You ain't shit if you don't know nothing. Fourth grade instituted the weekly SSR, a 15 minute period of sustained silent reading that immediately followed lunch recess. What it meant exactly was 30 some, 30 some sweaty and exhausted 90 year olds forced to sit still and read about what the hell Mary Kate and Ashley were doing, being astronauts and whatnot. Fun. Nothing stimulates literacy like the communist regime of the SSR. Fourth grade instituted new tests to measure subpar comprehension scores, supposedly improved by the SSR. A multiple choice test on plot details, character details, and theme details of a given book that was assigned or chosen at will. It was a standardized testing. Aptitude reading AR test, or for giggles and fun, the star test. <laughs> what it meant exactly was a score of 50% for any student who didn't take a single glance at the book, 60 to 70% for those who could bullshit it without common knowledge, 80 to 100% for the good kids that read it, as well as the bad kids who asked the good ones for the right answers. <laughs> you don't know shit if you don't pass the test. Star kids to star test and glow kids to no rest. Fifth grade was all about general learning outcomes. The bestest government run specialty design curriculum for schools that don't meet national standards. Glows governed learning like a popsicle stick governs a popsicle. When all is said and done, all the schools are put under heat. Nothing but the stick is left, sticky, with a stained sense of education and a bad joke. Like, why are public school kids not very bright? They don't fully glow. Ah, fuck you. <laughs> And at the end of the year, all 5th and 6th graders will be subject to standardization and testing that tests brown skin for whitewash knowledge. Schools that didn't pass failed because, 50 having, because of 50% having below 5th grade reading comprehension, stemming from 30% of 5th graders with 2nd grade reading, with second grade reading comprehension, stemming from 60% of 4th graders not adequately tested for their reading comprehension, stemming from 50% of star test takers faking their test comprehension, stemming from it's a lot fucking easier to press the right button on a test than it is to spell comprehension. Mm. You ain't shit if you don't know what's good for you. In sixth grade, I learned very quickly that education is nothing more than stickers and crap. <laughs> and after all, it doesn't matter how you get a star sticker badge, main thing is you got one. Just like it doesn't matter how you get a proper accreditation, standardization, scores, main thing is the school gets to hang up with a shiny fucking star that says I'm GLOW certified. In sixth grade, I learned very quickly that education is the single most important act of hygiene. It isn't a virtue, it isn't a system. It is the single most important form of preservation of health and life. In sixth grade, I learned very quickly that reading equates knowledge. It's the only thing you can do in excess without inherent death. Mm -hmm. You ain't shit if you don't recognize.
High lower intermediate school was neither different nor the same as in Chapter Lake Elementary. It was still under the same socialist SSR. I rather liked reading by this point, but the crossover between seventh grade didn't make it feel any less of punishment. It's all tests and scores. No one ever made reading something that could be fun, and, the, and it accounted for more than standardized testing. Before 2004 ended, I became a poet, and it didn't change my relationship with reading. By high school, we were seasonal hookups at best, and every now and then, I never made it all the way. Best like I was a sequel. That's a pun on second base, what? I read, poetry the, I read poetry and the Bible and often confuse the two, but I've never came, up, I've never came out of the bookshelf. Huh. I feel like it has something to do. I feel like it has to be something you do for fun or you're not one at all. And my unused library card sleeps next to the condom in my wallet. I guess I'm just waiting for the right one. You ain't shit if you don't see what's really going on. I'm a senior in high school, and my little sister Sarah just entered fourth grade. She has Miss Marshall, and I can see the paper cuts forming even before she checks out a book. There are still stamps and stickers and stars and badges, and a whole no sunshine. Sarah radiates Miss Marshall's will. Sarah has a big brother in college, and a big brother who is on TV and newspapers and YouTube and famous. Her classmates say she's learned early the importance. She's learned early the truth. She's learned early the love. She is two tiny arms stretched across a stack of checked out books. All Mary Kidd and Ashley, Amelia Bedelia, Julie, Judy Blue, mm -hmm. and the Adventures of Sissy Kid. When she receives a stamp, there is celebration to be had, personal pizzas to be claimed, and smiles to share. She will love to read because she will see the joy and she will earn her badge and it will be hung up high. I just wanted to slow down and say, Sarah, you don't have to touch and go. Quote, and you, you can see it all through finger whiskers on one word. You've made light of your glowing heart, shine like a star, brighter than I will ever be. And she smiles, knowing it doesn't matter what she does, just that she loves to read. And that is why I ain't shit. Mm -hmm.